Hi guys, welcome back. So I do apologize for being in my A. Your girl was sick. I was down for like five days. I had a viral infection. I was just glued to the bed, but I am better now. So I am here. And I just wanna let you know that I do appreciate each and every one of you for all of my subscribers, all of my non-subscribers, all of my silent viewers. I do appreciate each and every one of you, you know, even for checking out my channel. I appreciate it so much. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, it was just a viral infection, but I am better. So the show must go on. And today, for today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Tier Tier Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. So this is the packaging here. I do have the shade 34N Pecan, Pecan, however you pronounce it. That's the shade that I got. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and review this today. I seen this, I seen it go viral. I was like, I wanna try it. So I went ahead and purchased it. I did get it off of Amazon. I think for Amazon, it was like 25 bucks. Um, so I did go ahead and get that. This has a lot of claims on here. So this foundation is supposed to be like full coverage. I'm talking like an airbrush finish. It's supposed to like replace your concealer. Like you're not gonna need any concealer to put on after using this foundation. Um, it's sweat proof, it's waterproof, it's mask proof. And it's supposed to last up to 72 hours, which I don't wear my makeup that long anyway. But this foundation has a lot of claims. So I wanna see if it's, you know, about what it says it is. So yeah, I have 34 in Pecan. This is the packaging here. So it's really pretty. I like it, I like red too. So let's see here. Okay, so it has its little applicator here. And then it has like a little tray here. And then this is where the foundation is. So I'm just gonna open this up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this little applicator here. I'm gonna dip it into the foundation. I hope the foundation color matches. All right, so I'm just gonna dip into here, just dip in here a couple times, and then just tap off the excess in this little tray here. You know how like you would usually put foundation on your hand, like on the back of your hand? So instead of doing that, you're just gonna put it in this little tray right over here. So I'm just gonna do that a couple times. I'm gonna dip into it again, do that a couple times, and we're getting ready to go into it and see what it's about. So. Okay, off top, the color match is perfect. So yeah, I like this. I said it's supposed to be full coverage, airbrush finish. I'm ready to see that. It's supposed to take the place of your concealer. I want to see that too. So I'm making sure to put it right under my eyes. Okay, so it looks kind of dewy. I do believe I read it was kind of dewy as well. But look at that, see that compared to my next side? Look at the difference, that's flawless. And this is Korean, so yeah, this is a Korean skincare cosmetic. So yes, it is very beautiful though. Dewy, but beautiful. All right, so I'm actually, I'm gonna dip into it a little bit more to see what it does on my next side here. I like full coverage, guys, so I'm just gonna, Play around with it and see what we can do. I did go ahead and prime my face. I'm glad I did, being that it's this dewy. So I did go ahead and prime my face. But yeah, I do say it's Pretty full coverage, very dewy. I'm definitely gonna have to set this down. So for us oily skin gals, you will need to set this down just from what I'm seeing here. But I really like the color and it's spot on.
I even brought a paper towel in because I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup here in just a few moments. But I did go ahead and bring a paper towel in here because I wanted to see if it's really transfer proof because it claims to be transfer proof. So I'm going to put it to the test and see if it's really transfer proof. But yeah, I really like it. I'm very happy with my shade match. So my twinsies out there, this is the perfect shade. It seems to cover up all my blemishes and imperfections just fine. So it looks really pretty. The only thing again is this really dewy. I don't know if you can see that on my face, but yeah, it's, I'm glowing. So, but I mean, it's really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna set my face down and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. I'll come back and then I will tell you my final thoughts on the foundation. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I am finishing up my makeup here, but I just wanted to show you the difference of what setting powder does to my face you know, with this foundation because of how dewy it is. So I'm taking my Danessa Myricks setting powder and I'm just tapping off the excess on my hand. But you see how shiny my face is here, right? Look at this, guys, watch this. So you see, I've already set this face and then now we're about to set this part right here. Let's set this side. The difference that this powder makes on this foundation is game changer. I just wanted to show you guys that. I really did. I was like, they gotta see this. You see my forehead is shining. Shining like no other. Like I just came in from running or something like that. See that, right? So. Look, this, yeah, this bad boy right here. That, that's what I'm talking about, that right there. So again, I'm combo to oily, so I like my face to be a little bit more powdery. So, but yeah, I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you that. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I went ahead and put on my face, the rest of my face. Um, I really like how it turned out. Like after setting it down, it is beautiful. It is a beautiful foundation. I definitely recommend it. Um, I am going to go ahead and test it though, because again, it's claiming that it's transfer proof, sweat proof, waterproof. It's supposed to be an airbrush finish. Now on the airbrush finish, I believe it will be airbrush finish as long as you set your face. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test it with a paper towel, clean paper towel, and see if it comes off any at all. So I'm just gonna dab my face and see, you know, if it comes off. Okay, so this is my paper towel here. As you can tell, there's a little line. So I will agree with the claims that it's pretty much transfer resistant. I mean, cause it barely even came off, barely at all. Um, but yeah, I really do like it. I do recommend it. You can get it off Amazon. Um, again, it's about $25. And if you guys have tried this foundation, let me know. Let me know if you've tried it and let me know what you think of it. How did it work for you? So as you've seen from my oily skin, combination oily skin, I had to set this bad boy down. But yeah, I really like it. I will be using it some more. Um, so I'm going to be using this for a few times and see, you know, what it does. Um, I may have a part two, like, you know, wear it for a couple days and see what happens. Again, it's supposed to be 72 hours, but again, I don't wear makeup that long. So, but yeah, I really like it. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you that watched till the end. Thank you for coming in here and getting pretty with me. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.